1, 2, 3D Basics, The Manipulator. Let's take a look at what else we can do with the manipulator. Place a cube in the workspace and click on it so the manipulator appears. Notice that the manipulator appears on the ground plane. There are white circular grips on the corners and white square grips on the midpoints, as well as one grip on the top center plane. Grab and drag the grips to change the dimensions of the cube. You can also rotate the object with the curvy arrow on the side. Notice that the object rotates around the center and automatically snaps in 90 degree increments. To move an object without changing its shape, grab the blue triangular grips. If you want to accurately move the object by a specific value, hit tab four times and key in your value and hit enter. Notice that I was able to enter the move by value after I dropped the object. So, you can plan to approximately place an object in the right spot and alter the exact value immediately afterward. If you orbit around the space, notice that the work plane dynamically changes based on your view. This is especially important for the rotate manipulator because it only shows up on one plane at a time. If you'd rather switch the working plane manually, you can do that in the Attributes Manager, which appears each time an object is selected. Click on it to change the position of the work plane. You can also use the shortcut key W to do the same thing. 